first you import the raw file. Only unprocessed BOL batches will appear in this area. Choose the one that you want. A copy of the raw file is always automatically saved in an archive file. This is your backup copy. The next step is to index and normalize the incoming data into Commander's format. Clicking the Convert button does that. You have the capability of importing new suppliers, BOLs, and setting up the needed cross-references on the fly. That is what the Edit Cross-Reference button does. For whatever reason, you could suspend the BOL batch at this point and come back to it later, but normally you will proceed to post the batch, which moves it into the BOL entry program. And here we are in the BOL entry program. The batch that we just imported consisted of three separate BOLs. You pick one to process. Most of the input fields get automatically populated. Remember, it is not so much the time savings that you get, it is more about accuracy which electronic imports give you. So now all we do is enter the drops. And entering the drops basically only requires the customer ID and the ship to ID. Commander will then look up the correct unit selling price and freight table. You are simply tabbing or entering through these fields. And when we're done with that, we mark this as ready to post. The customer invoice has automatically been created. We can edit it prior to printing or we can just print it. 